All right, so here's the relic. The main frame of the relic is from a model AA truck and the engine, also model A engine and the transmission from the model AA truck. So this is a model A transmission with the creeper gear. The differential here is, uh, we don't know a lot about it. The original differential in this tractor was wore out. Um, I think the story I heard is that my grandfather had the tractor jacked up and was running a belt for a saw and that wore out the differential. This differential is, the only detail we know is it's from a touring car. The back wheels and the chains are from a Kelly Springfield fire truck, I believe. I could not really find much information on Kelly Springfield online. I don't know about a lot about that, what model truck it was or anything like that. Um, uh, my dad remade these sprockets by hand using a big pieces of steel and a drill press. Uh, the steering box comes from the that Chevy half-ton pickup, the same pickup that I have in my homemade tractor build video um, that I got my front axle and stuff from. Gas tank here, as far as I know, is the original Model AA truck gas tank, but it was uh, cut off and welded to uh, make it more narrow like a tractor. Uh, right here you see the bell housing. This bell housing is actually cracked and welded. When it was plowing snow, somehow it uh, cracked the bell housing there and my grandfather, I guess, was able to weld the cast steel or cast iron back together. He was quite a welder. There's a hole through the, the front here for the crank start, which does work. This is the original axle for the Model AA truck. The VW emblem on the radiator is a recent cosmetic addition to cover up where the radiator is damaged. Because the coolant system leaks right now, in the winter my dad adds water before starting it and drains it when he shuts the tractor down. Yeah. grandfather was born in 1910. 
They had a large family with nine surviving children and relied on horses to do some subsistence farming. Here's my great-grandfather working the fields with horsepower. There was a lot of junk around and my grandfather loved machines, so he decided to fabricate his own tractor. The relic went through quite a few changes through the years. You can see it here early on with the firewall section of the Model A still on the tractor. My grandfather was drafted into World War II where he served in Europe, but the relic continued to get used by the family and local people. A lot of people learned to drive on the relic, and it continued to be used for a lot of work. At some time in the 1960s or 1970s, my grandfather got a farm all sea. The relic was worn out, and it just couldn't compete with the convenience of a farm all, with its tight turning radius, hydraulics, and governed throttle. It was a better farm instrument, and the relic stopped being used. It sat unused. The engine eventually seized. At some time in the late 1980s or early 1990s, my brother and my father towed the relic out from where it sat, unseized the engine, and got it running again. The relic doesn't do much work anymore. Now it's a family treasure and it enjoys an easy retirement.